How's it going guys? Episode 4 of Ruthless SSF. Yesterday we got a decent bow. It has some damage on it and finally we're able to clear maps fairly well. Got the atlas started. Still got a long ways to go. Atlas past the tree. I blocked off all the left side stuff. I don't think I'm actually going to block off anything on the left side. I'll probably respect these two points and maybe get essences or start pushing up towards Kirak missions. Maybe. I don't know. There's all this stuff here too. Increased uh, chance for delirium mirrors, increased chance for smuggler's caches, increased chance for metamorph, increased chance for ritual altars. All that stuff's over here. So yeah, I don't know. I might have pushed these points up in the wrong spot. But we don't got a lot of maps to work with. We only have Alva missions. A long way to go. Hopefully today we'll make it up into like yellow maps and upgrade this character or find the gems to inspire a reroll. One of those two things. Hopefully it will happen today. Metamorph. I get to pick between intrinsic or noxious catalyst. I think I want intrinsics because if the league mechanic is giving stuff for attribute stacking builds, I need to start like planning for something like that. I don't know how common that is, but I'm pretty comfortable in the sanctum. So now does the metamorph drop actual items on top of it? Yeah, drop time magic. Metamorph's easy. Ooh, life double res with int gloves. It's really good. So those gloves would cap me on fire and cold and leave me hurting on lightning. A slight little bit of damage loss, but life increase by 59. I'm going to hold off for the time being. Those gloves are sticking around though. Crimson Temple. There we go. That's a move in the right direction. I'm going to drop the tornado shot. I'm going to drop the blind. Drop the blind and run Siege Ballista in addition to the Storm Rain Totems and see if I can clear better with the Siege Ballistas and just use the... Others for a single target. Topaz ring. Yep. Until I get better map clear, Siege Ballistas are coming back. They can clear a pack of enemies. Like right after I put them down. Whereas the Storm Rain Totems, it's got to fire them up. Then it's got to fire them down. Stack them. Keep the enemies in the location. Nah. These will hit enemies off screen. And then it's sharing the... Added lightning damage. It doesn't get affected by the Blista Totem support, so I can keep them all in that same link setup. Now, if I can find a three link, that means I could get my blind in with the ensnaring arrow and Mirage Archer. Is it cool to lightning support? Colors that go into blue. Okay, Delirium monsters can spawn inside the Sanctum Room. That caught me off guard. Wow, three cluster jewels? The Lyrian Mirrors are very kind with Cluster Jewel drops. Nine Passive Chaos with Overwhelming Malice and Unholy Grace Life Strength. A nice Cluster Jewel. I have 17 repoints. I'm going to spec out of this Tailwind. I'm going to spec into Focal Point because this isn't affecting my totems. This Mark Extra Damage will. Get some increased crit chance in Multi. Swap the left side of this, I think. Alp Topaz Ring. Cold Lightning Res. Rarity. Three lightning res off res cap. Jewelers. Oh, that's bad. Trying to get in. There we go. Actually, that could be on my three link. Three fusings. There we go. So now we have it's snaring arrow, mirage archer, blind. And I swap in an amethyst flask or bismuth flask. Oh, at the limit of eight stored rooms. Okay, don't need siege ballista for this then. Oh, and I got super speed in here. I forgot about that. Oh, and there's an offer here. You must accept the pack in order to be able to interact with this. Remove spike shell. Remove the increased resolve. Lose max resolve. I think I take this one. The inspiration at the start of each floor is so nuts. And then leave the others. Okay, and then take two alts on leading the sanctum. 25% max resolve. There's no way that restored 25% max resolve. Reduced resolve recovered. Okay. I deal less damage and enemies have max life. Okay, that's why this is getting difficult. Any random boon? Scrying crystal. Oh, well. Wow. Monster level really matters. Monster level 68 is way better than 71. Oh, only 104 resolve. Going to the boss. First pack. Lose the effect of my relics. And lose three afflictions. I'm almost tempted for that. Lose max resolve for minor... Boons, major boons. I'm taking the top one. Okay, we do less damage. We, we lost the HP off of enemies. I lost the recovery. Is losing max resolve going to hurt me too badly? I don't know that it will. Two random random minor boons. Yeah, I still have 104. Okay, monsters have reduced action speed and more Aureus coins found. 
And then we go to the boss. Easy. I have 664. I'll go Benevolent Fountain right off the bat. Get another boon. Or I go for the Merchant. But Volatile Anomalies. Oh, this boss room is kind of yikes. Wow. I almost lost in that room. All right. Monsters Impact Reduced Resolve. That's really good because I'm about to like lose. Okay, go for the fountain. All right, this is the defeat all the guards room. Oh, and I lose. Too many guards all there together. Movement speed probably hurt me more than it helped me. I was it was too much movement speed. Lesser Eldric Ember. Where though? Gloves. Black hole to attacks. Yeah. Hey, I got a Kirak mission. Yay. I could open a lot of stuff up. All right, what do we got here? We do a laboratory. T5 has a rare map. Or I can go for essences in a coral ruins. Check the shop first. No. Go to coral ruins. I haven't seen essences at all. Yeah, siege ballistas are so much better for clearing. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. And you can like actually siege stuff with it like push in like draw enemies back to your like firing line and cool stuff i can just keep pushing through the map until i find the pack of enemies and then stay safe wailing of sorrow whispering of greed whispering essence of hatred well essences aren't amazing i mean they do work like alks so i heard a gym we have a cleave carrier ice nova nine percent quality that's a yellow map. Kill the boss of a rare version. Yeah, I have to make them rare. I do have an alchemy. Is it on this one? This one's magic, though. Might just have to run with it. These siege ballistas are doing so well for me. I pulled the ballista totem out and gave them inspiration. Give them increased crit chance, more elemental damage. So, I mean... <laughs> they're, they're clearing this stuff off screen. This is something the Storm Rain totems cannot do. If I need to, I can come in with a little bit of extra. An Ice Shot. Okay. Ooh, Reap. That's something I've never played with. Bloody Scythe sweeps across selected area, applying a physical damage over time debuff. In addition to hitting enemies with physical damage, if enemies survive, you gain a Blood Charge, which raises the damage and cost of the skill. Interesting. Right, ritual plus Metamorph. So yeah, it's because of this. Because I can... I can actually get two mechanics in the same zone, which didn't appear to be possible in the Ruthless description. This is why I didn't start specking stuff out here. I think Storm Rain Totems had to come back for Ritual. Okay, I'll refund these two. Move those over to here. Roll number three. Just get crazier and crazier. I think it's better for me for the ghosts to get on the rares, though. Yeah, two rare items dropped from it. Two stone ring, diamond ring. I'm really, really enjoying the... Okay, um, prepare for whatever situation. Okay, this one's better for the siege ballistas. Oh, this one's better for the storm rain ones. Oh, this whole map will just be crushed by the siege ballistas. What's gym swap? And it's really cool. I'm having a blast with this. Like, oh, we get to the ritual, now we use the different ballista totems. And since I ha can have six siege ballistas, I can actually have one siege ballista always, even with the five storm rain ones. Ah, no, no, no. And then meanwhile, like, I'm just back here firing and snaring arrow at everything. All right, what do we got here? Nothing super great. Take the ritual splinters, I guess. Reroll. Atonement mask. You're crushed. Okay, we got more ritual splinters. Something. The projectile speed on them is crazy. The fact that they can pierce eight enemies is crazy. I think the Siege Ballistas actually need a fairly decently close target to fire. But then they do, and then they can hit stuff way off screen. As long as they're firing in the correct direction. The Siege Ballistas aren't getting any damage conversion either. So they've got all this physical damage tacked on as well. I guess the further pro the projectiles go to, the more damage they do. Oh, wow! And I get a Smuggler's Cache in here. So I got Ritual, I got Metamorph, and I got Iced in the same map. Oh, they changed Grand Design and Wandering Path. You can select it, and then you get 20 additional, not increased the effect of them. Okay, here we go. Imbued Catalyst, Intrinsic Catalyst, Noxious Catalyst. I wish Metamorphs were like this normally. 
as much as I've enjoyed all the other rewards on Metamorph, Metamorphs have never given this many catalysts. And yeah, these, you can be like a catalyst armor. Because if you get the itemized samples, those drop catalysts. So we go in there, we get five of these pieces, kill the thing, and then we're going to get, what, ten catalysts maybe? That's fantastic. Brutality support. Now that's big. See that with the reap and my pride. Maybe something's starting to come together. That's one of the things I really wanted about this. That's why I didn't play trade. Because I want to be forced into whatever I do. We were given these options, and this seems like the best play. Rather than, oh, I want to play this, and even though it's harder, maybe costs more, you can still just trade and get whatever you want. I mean, you really never know, but I don't know that I've ever seen anybody else running around with a Mirage Archer and Snaring Arrow for their Siege Ballistas. Well, that's what I was looking for out of this. Animate Guardian. I've never made an Animate Guardian that lived, and I don't think I'm in the place to do so. Now we get to the boss, drop Storm Rain Totems instead, and oof. I mean, like, this, this is literally, this is Siege Ballista plus Deadeye, two linked with added lightning damage. Nico mission, that's the first Nico mission. Considering everything else has been changed, I'm assuming that there's probably changes to Delve too. Ooh, life armor double res, worth saving. And I'm full on Sanctum, so I guess I got to see if I can get a Sanctum run going. I have to approach the Sanctum very differently than maps. First pact. Max Resolve, lose Max Resolve, lose 200, gain Inspiration, Minor Boon, Minor Affliction. I think I do this. Two Alks on completing the Sanctum. Um, that's, that's a little good. motivation. This 200 Resolve, 200 Inspiration thing is dumb. It's a bad idea. I went to the new room and I lost the 200 Resolve that I just gained that they supposedly just patched. So I hit them and they start running towards me. But then... I'm not down there, so they start running away, but the Siege Ballistas can hit them. Another Curse Pact. Gain Aureus coins equal to the amount of inspiration removed, removing all inspiration. Lose a minor affliction and lose a boon. Guards are twinned. That's a positive and a negative. Sure, guards are twinned. All right, then we'll come back to this. Next time I have them stocked up. Oh, and I need to swap my buttons back because Siege Ballista is just better. Old Lightning Res with Movement Speed and Int. Worth holding on to, probably. Oh yeah, I was getting Soul Fight. Sanctum can really, like, throw you out of whatever groove you're in. Only 191, okay. Pull another Blight. Well, this one's split three ways, so who knows. Nope. Failed. See if we can get anything from these heists. Hey, a map. Yeah, I dropped, like, nothing. It just dropped me rare item or normal and magic items from the chests, except for the map. No, I'm stuck. Oh, what? All right, yeah, getting out definitely has to be Storm Rain Totems. It's too many rares. I just need to not fight stuff and get out. But I don't have infinite Quartz Flask. I'm going to die. I'm going to so die. Yep, rip. It's a raider's job, not a dead eyes. Stuff in here is just tankier at this level. I have to be really careful. I have to save the Quartz Flask for the oh no moment where it's there's nothing you can do we got two stone ring all right now we now we run ah still have one use of the flask all right push it go go all right yeah i need something better to be able to heist and clear maps heist is it's just it's not ready yeah then we go into a t6 map and all right, another attempt at alva they took down the architect get it get it yes Oh, okay. Wasn't great, but no, I died. Still don't have Chaos Res. Two of these bosses with a maven. <laughs> don't face tank a slam. There we go. Maven's beacon. Yeah, I did a level 70 and level 71 heist, and I wasn't going to take out normal enemies with ensnaring arrow in there. Just absolutely not. I, I can slowly pick these guys off with the ensnaring arrow. My tooling siege blisses though, and it can tear up a T6 map. I don't have an Atlas mission, but he has an Atlas mission thing show up. Normally when you don't have Atlas missions, there's no Atlas mission icon like Einar here. Kirak has an Atlas mission button, even though I don't have missions. Oh, hello boots. Wow, good boots. I don't know what the, these boots are for this character. We'll, we'll save those boots. 
10% chance to gain a frenzy charge when you hit your marked enemy. That could be really good. If I were to get these marked nodes. Ooh. Projectiles deal 20% increased damage with hits and ailments for each enemy pierced. Siege ballista can pierce eight enemies currently. Let's get the heck. Superior gripped gloves. Now that's certainly intriguing. A bramble jack. Yeah. Volley support. Um. Okay then. This could let the totem shoot more. No, it won't. It won't do storm rain with volley. Support skills that fire projectiles from the user. Okay then. It'll work on my ensnaring arrow. Let me fire five at once. Okay. Can the siege ballista be affected by volley? It can. Oh, we need to test that. I mean, I think that's probably going to be end up being better. It just gets more production out of the siege ballista. <laughs> Yo, it's going to make it more of a clear skill and less of a potential to kill rares and things. Okay, so maybe I go back to entertaining the idea of those boots that I found. Let's think about this. So we move the Ballista Totem, we have the Storm Rain, and we let it keep the added lightning damage, and then we move Inspiration into the Volley Siege Ballistas. Okay, Tornado Shot can come out. Sniper's Mark. That needs to go in somewhere. Probably the best thing to do right now is move that Portal Gem, and then Chrome my bow for the green. And now I have a red socket to go get Steel Skin. How much flat lighting damage did it lose? Oh, that's a lot of flat lighting damage. Okay, portal gem goes here. All right, <laughs> we let the siege ballistas do their thing. Alternatively, no, I do have another gem. We go back again. We take a fizz to lightning and give that to the siege ballista because it doesn't convert anything. Yeah, there we go. And we can just swap the storm rain when needed to remove a boss. Cool. Very happy with that. I don't know if it's good, but wow, the attack speed does not let this be good. I keep this though, in case I want to do any kind of bow mines or traps, because that's extra damage. Added cold damage support. <laughs> now what? Well, put it in the offhand, start, start it leveling, I guess. <laughs> Hope this blights better than the last one. So the icons don't show up on the mini map at all, even though they don't have like specific rewards. They don't show up. Am I guaranteed an oil? I did get an oil just from the one chest still though. The toll is really like the perfect map for these siege ballistas because it's just like an open straight path of enemies. So they just wail through them. I've been finding lots of smuggler's caches. Not complaining in any way. But I specced into a couple of those like chance nodes. These? And they've been showing up all over the place. Yeah, give me that pack size. My Siege Ballistas love it. Six Simulacrum Splinters. First Delirium Mirror that did not give me Buster Jewels. Oh, there's Rituals in here too. Despair Curse. Wave of Conviction. Mmm. Wave of Conviction plus Fist of Lightning gives me Lightning Exposure. That could mean more damage. At this point, it's starting to get a little complicated of like possibilities hydrosphere would definitely be better i think than a wave of conviction especially given the bow is cold and lightning damage what do we got here magic items and ritual splinters look at that this one has four catalysts on it probably just never going to give me the rare catalysts okay so what does delve look like contains armor contains jewelry it still has those items weapons has the right there is a currency node even. Okay, let's go see what a currency node is. Totems are bad at delve. You gotta put stuff down and then you wait for them to fire. It drops a lot of stuff. Ooh, alchemical resonators. Lost a lot of azurite to get them too. My first GCP. Banded riches. Blacksmith whetstone. Let's go. Ah. It's azurite behind the wall. Which is strange. Never seen that. All right, well, I don't think it's my delving character either. But the totems can do fine at the end nodes, but getting there is a pain. Full of rooms. So now we need a spec for this. Just put everything back in the four link. And then instead of volley, we use added cold damage. And we do this just with storm rain totems. Oh, yeah. Guards are twinned as well. Oh, Come on, what was that? That's just a random explosion in the middle of the room. The Templar 
Okay, well, that run's done. Sure. I want to see if I can link these boots. Means I'm going to quality them first. I have three fusings. That's a no. All right, we're not linking these boots. I'd rather keep the three link than break it. Try this again. First pack. Gain hungry fangs. Monsters and pack increased resolve or reduced action speed. Not a terrible trade off. Yeah, let's do that. And I want a chance orb at the end of the floor. Yeah, I like that. Reducing their action speed reduces the amount of stuff I have to dodge. What is this? Contains radiant fountain? Well, I have to go there. Gain a random boon. Cleanse random affliction, gain 200 inspiration. That's insane. Yeah, more Aureus coins found. I don't know what it was that I lost. Oh, the increased resolve on hit that I got from the pact. All right, let's try and keep this inspiration for this. Easy. Unmaking. An additional room is revealed on the Sanctum map. Cool. Ooh, nice helmet. Life, chaos, lightning, accuracy. It sucks that so many things that I'm finding, the issues I'm having are sockets. I've yet to see a, see a single six socket item. Not one. I can't see what the room type is, but... It really doesn't matter. Oh, it'll tell me before I go in. Okay, Merchant. Gain max resolve. When you use a fountain and gain max resolve. Increased effect of your relics. Gain resolve when you kill a boss. And the coffer relics are big. 20% max resolve. My resolve is currently 362. Like 70. With gain max when you use the fountain. That's the only thing worth taking here at all. Alright, I'm gonna leave the rest. And we come back later. And then I can't, I gotta re-gear my character. 60% global crit chance if you summoned a totem recently. That's solid. I don't know how good this taunt is doing. Took the chance to summon two totems on the mastery. Open that. Speed me up a little bit. Where is the mastery for like totems prioritize targeting marked target? Making the marauder so I can get my steel skin. All right, options here. Shield crush, molten strike, or ground slam. It's ground slam Axe, mace, scepter, staff, or unarmed. Make the quality driftwood. Big bonks. Bramblejack. Look at this stuff that I just saved for reasons like this. Iron ring. Oh, you can't see it because my face is on top of it. There's no perfect place in this game to put myself. Ground slime's fun too. You hurt a bunch of enemies up like this and then bop. Oh, come on, Roas. I want to I see this reflected damage off this Bramblejack. 1,000% of melee physical damage taken is reflected to the attacker. Say what? Well, I, I was taking damage. Well, it says that minus 11 melee physical damage taken from attacks. Maybe I was only taking damage to the fire damage from the blue pack. Okay, one of them died. So I guess, I guess the minus flat fizz means that these guys just can't hurt me. So I can't reflect the damage into them and it has to be physical damage. If I get hit with elemental damage, then yeah. Bop. A molten shell. Didn't offer me the steel skit. Give me molten shell. Well, maybe the duelist can get it. We'll try again. Like, I really don't care about the extra defense on the buff. Like, I need the bleed remove. I'm tired of having to, like, pay attention to it and stop moving if I get bleed on me. Here, we get Splitting Steel Perforate Galvanic Arrow. You can get on a Duelist. Interesting. Cleave. Molten Strike. Let's take Molten Strike this time. We got Ancestral Protector, Decoy Totem, Puncture, Vigilant Strike, Blood and Sand. No Steel Skin. Okay. Well... I tried. My jewelers, I have two. Please give me more. I have Molten Shell now. My whopping 597 armor, it can block 133 damage. But I guess it goes up a lot once I have totems. It doesn't last very long. I haven't used Molten Shell in a long time. Yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Really? I have to go complain about having sockets. And there it comes. This one should be good. Two unique bosses here. Get a mark off. Snaring arrow them all. And then we just kind of wait. Keep putting down totems. Yeah. Wish I would have followed for that. So we know that 
six sockets can show up level 72 and higher. They said that they changed the threshold levels because I didn't see four socket items until I was in Act 4 instead of Act 3. So I don't know where the threshold is to be able to farm six sockets. I, w I was assuming it was maps, but this being the first one, this is my only benchmark to go off of. Is item level 72, and I'm vendoring it. But yeah, the idea was to link the boots, move the inspiration, and then recolor the helmet because this is a green blue, and then get the added cold damage in the siege ballista. I'm I'm afraid to touch these though, unless it's on something like extremely vital. I don't know that that's extremely vital at the moment, but it would make things better. We'll give it we'll give it a shot. Okay, a four linked. Yes. Thank you. All right, inspiration moves. So then we have plenty, of, like I got chromes for days. There we go. And now I just lost my my socket that I was using molten shell in. It's not a bad thing to have the molten shell around, but level it there. So yeah, now I'm getting the increased crit chance off on the storm rain from the inspiration charges. And this is where I want the crit chance more. Oh, Ares pierced nine tar targets on the Siege Ballista now. Maximum six summon totems. Yo, Regal Orb. I think I know what to do with it, actually. I should probably save it for a jewel or use it on that cold multi-jewel that I have. But I could use it on a, my T6 map and make it rare. Feels really dumb, but like I just did my last T5 map. It gave me the Regal Orb. I have this T6. I've been sitting on it for hours. It's a rare one now. Like it's that or go back to T3s. Ooh, and I can bring Maven into this. My boss damage is... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, gl I'm glad I did the changes. Getting this, like, dual four link set up. And I get another Atlas passive. Increased chance for ritual altars. Which I still have no idea if it's even worth. You know, more I've th the more I've thought about it, the best you can probably do here, like, early on, is rush the pack size wheel. Probably where I need to start heading next. Hey, we had a return. Courtyard. Hey, it's a new map. T7 mineral pools. It may hurt me in gear crafting, but I gotta invest the alks into those maps. And another one. Okay, this one came rare though, so don't have to alk that. I have no issue. Like, I'll run red maps off transmutes, but like, I need to be able to get the Atlas completion. I've yet to see a single Vol Orb, so I don't know how that's supposed to work other than just use Kirak. And if I recall from looking at the Atlas passive tree, this node here can make scouting reports drop as Vol scouting reports. So they can't naturally drop. And this one's for unique maps. And I got a Kirak mission. All kinds of goodies in here. Harbingers, Blight, find the rare map. Blight with Beyond, that's not good. The shield with life, big ES, all res, faster ES recharge, and cold res. Hmm, looks nice. Oh yay, I get rituals in my monster life, multi-proj, frenzy charge, temp chains map. So I think maybe it, maybe it is like a one in four chance that a map will spawn extra content. And then I have only the five choices for it to spawn, but I have extra chance for rituals and heist, which is why I have ritual and heist in the map that I had a delirium in. Pulverize support. Interesting. It's so dumb that Maven can still do that lash ability and I don't have a movement skill to do anything about it. Oh, well, that's lovely. Totems got spawned during the ritual. I died, but the totems are still here. What do we got? Oh, rare item. Reroll. Nexus gloves. All right, I got myself an agate amulet. What catalysts do I have? I have intrinsic catalysts. Sure. Then I'm going to alk this. It gave me fire res, lightning damage, ES, and some dot multi. You know what? We'll take it. Bloodlust. Probably my best spell wand I've seen. Doesn't have spell crit. Has a lot of mana, spell damage, lightning spells, something. Offers me a museum map. Didn't give me a lot of choices, but there's another plus one. Wrap and mine damage support. Ragging up some support gems. Flamethrower trap. Well, I know I can do a lot with that. Ooh, a rare two stone ring. Int flat fire. Elemental prolif. I got a blasphemer in this one on a rare enemy. That's normally a gym one, so maybe I got it from that. Well, this is a really tight little area to have a ritual. Okay, I want 
With this haunted ritual, I want to try and just like leave it be. Let the tormented spirits spawn. Let them get on top of rares. Let them touch as much stuff as possible. Storm cultist and martyr, seditionist. I got a cruelty, overgrown shrine. Cruelty's good. And what we got? I got a couple rare items in this one. T5 map. Added attack, lightning damage per 200 accuracy and less accuracy. Another house point. Rarity of maps found in your maps. Here we go again. I got another magic T6 map that I haven't completed. No scourings, no more eagles. Atlas respect point. We can do that. So yeah, I think that's the next goal to get up to this pack size wheel. I think that's going to make the maps feel better. Map bosses have a 10% chance to be surrounded by tormented spirits. That's probably solid as well. I think that's where I need to stop for today. 32 Atlas completion. I did lots of T5 maps today and there's still some missing. We haven't seen a horizon orb, but there's also harbinger currency technically. So maybe harbingers is the only way to get one of those. The gym stash is growing. Let's add here. We have a cruelty now. So cruelty can go with the creeping frost. Um, we've got a pride with a brutality, over eyes, a bl bloodlust, and a fist of war. There's some interesting stuff you could probably do with that. We've got a flamethrower trap, trap, and mind damage advanced traps. We have a despair, but that doesn't do anything for dots anymore. Withering touch and plague bearer. I still don't see anything here worth going for. Like the best thing here is, is pride brutality. Like we can make something work there. Don't really have any good weapons outside of the unique sword um, and then the flamethrower trap but i don't have a weapon for that either and i've been identifying every rare item that drops anything remotely decent i've been keeping why this is just full of random stuff it's colossal colossus mallet if you could if i could craft flat fizz on this like we'd be golden like this is a a weapon with its attack speed chance to bleed no auras today like we got two four links set up we're, we're getting something looking like a build Kind of. But yeah, I, I still don't see anything worth like committing on jumping on a reroll. Oh, I have this reef too. Reef and cruelty goes together nicely with pride and brutality. Maybe something with a reef? I've never done anything with a reef. Oh no. If y'all see something here, definitely let me know. Like something you could see coming together. I'm still not seeing anything worth jumping at. I think I think reap brutality cruelty with the pride aura is the closest thing i'm at my currency tab does not look like it's growing at all sadly i've done a lot of maps today Let's see you slash played one day five hours 47 minutes level 78 still a long way to go still a, a lot of white maps that i just haven't seen it seems like they're dropping maps that are connected but these passives on the atlas passive tree aren't chance to drop a connected map or whatever so I, yeah i think tomorrow the plan is go at it again another day keep keep throwing yourself at maps and hoping something comes out of it we did get an interesting pair of boots really it uh, i have this inspiration too inspiration can kind of be used on anything it's a very nice gym to have that's where we're at it's a it's interesting build we've got going but that's where i'm gonna leave this one like thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video definitely hit the like button as it really helps the channel out a lot subscribe to make sure you don't miss more videos from me if you'd like to help support my channel please consider using the super thanks to the heart icon just below the video or by trying to become a member and i'll see you on the next one cheers